how U.S. elections will change AI, why ChatGPT took down a huge student site, your digital twin by Clean, and why OpenAI paid $15 million for a domain. The recent U.S. election will also affect the AI industry. Since last year, U.S. developers have had to report to the government on how they train their AI, check for ASICs, and more. But Trump didn't like Biden's strict AI regulations and plans to cancel them if he wins. It seems this will happen soon. Big names like Elon Musk and Mark Andreessen support this because they believe it will speed up AI growth, but experts say it could bring risks like spreading more fake information or creating biased AI. Musk, who supports Trump, seems to be gaining from this already. For example, Tesla stocks rose 14% and they launched XAI API in a public beta. This beta includes 25 bucks in free credits monthly for testing and integration, plus you will get extra free credits to match any credits you buy. That's generous. Right now, only one model, Grok Beta, is available. It's a new model that should finish its training by the end of the year, and soon they will launch a model that understands both text and images. By the way, it's training on XAI Colossus as the world's biggest AI cluster. Stanford researchers also found that around 70% of computer science paper reviews were written by AI, not people. They recognize AI reviews by a unique style, too formal, wordly, and vague comments without details. Certain AI words like commendable and meticulous were also used way more often after 2022. The reason is simple. Reviewers are short on time and maybe a bit lazy too. And that 70% might be just the beginning. While scientists are judging how good AI is, AI is also judging how good the scientists are. More OpenAI updates. They bought chat.com for $15 million. And you ask why they need so much money from investors? That's why. I just wonder who's the lucky guy who sells the domain. It's now the third most expensive domain ever. These pricey domains are really worth it. Just look at the top ones. Every single one is widely popular. Mm. OpenAI API also has a new feature called predicted outputs. It speeds up responses when the text is partly predictable, which is great for tasks like editing code or rephrasing text. Basically, the model guesses parts of the text and just confirms them instead of generating each bit from scratch. And it hasn't even been two years, but ChatGPT has already taken its first major victim, Chegg. It's a big American site that sells homework help, so students is losing ground fast. At its peak, check was worth around $15 billion, and for $20 per month, students could get pre-written answers to common homework questions. But now, with the ChatGPT and other AIs paying 20 bucks for something an AI does faster, cheaper, or even for free, just doesn't make sense. But the funny part, Teachers never had issues with Czech, but they are not happy about ChatGPT. Are they afraid of changes? TikTok just launched Exportate 2, which is super cool, really. It turns photos into realistic videos with the facial expressions and emotions that look like real actors. What makes it unique is that it doesn't just animate a few key points on the face like other tools. It captures tiny face and muscles movement down to the smallest gaze shifts. ByteDance has a big advantage because of all the TikTok user data, which lets them train the system with the real expressions and improve animation quality. Exported 2 might even replace price motion capture tech in movies someday, but it also opens the door to more deepfakes. Claude can now analyze PDF with images, so it doesn't just read text, it sees pictures too. Anthropic also released Claude 3.5 Haiku. It's better at coding and logical thinking and is 15 times cheaper than the previous model Claude 3 Opus, but it's four times pricier than its last version and doesn't support images. Other options like GPT for Mini and Gemini Flash might be better in terms of price and quality. And by the way, Anthropic, which was created to make ethical AI, is now working with Palantir and AWS to provide their cloud models to US intelligence and defense agencies. Super ethical, right? Update from Black Forest Labs. Four times higher image resolution with the same speed and more realistic mode. 
they released two versions. First, Ultra can now generate images up to 4 megapixels with a very realistic quality. And the second, RAW, produces images with a natural and less synthetic look, capturing the vibe of spontaneous photos. It feels like with all this news, these new models should already be more realistic than reality itself. But when you start generating images yourself or look at ones that are not cherry picks, you realize they are still not quite like film photos. But they are good enough to replace a real photo model who charges 30 bucks per hour with a model for 30 bucks per month. Impressive savings! In July, Manga launched its first campaign with AI models and plans to expand the use of this tech. Companies like Nike and Louis Vuitton also looking at AI to cut costs. Manga says AI helps automate routine tasks and boosts employees' creativity. So it seems the Victoria's Secret era is over. The deepfake topic is not fully explored yet. While TikTok only teased this, Kling already launched digital twin tech. Now you can train an AI on any person by uploading just 10 to 30 short videos, 10 to 15 seconds each. It's not much. Kling memorizes key physical features – hair, eyebrows, lips, eyes, face shape, etc. And after that, you can choose this character in prompts to generate any video with them – different plots, angles and backgrounds. Before, cloning was mostly for celebrities, but now there are no limits. The custom models feature is closed better, but it will be open for everyone soon. Amazon has added X-ray recaps to its Amazon Prime. This AI tool quickly reminds viewers what happened in previous episodes. The AI instantly creates recaps, analyzing key plot points, characters, dialogues, etc. But without spoilers. And now you can get a quick summary of any episode, multiple episodes, or even the whole season. Unfortunately, these are text summaries, not videos one. Mistral AI released an API for content moderation across 11 languages. The model detects content across 9 categories, from hate speech and violence to personal data. Just for $1, you can moderate around 200,000 comments. This creates a new kind of battle. In the red corner, AI creating comments, and in the blue corner, AI moderating them for acceptability. In China, machines have learned to lay asphalt on their own. A group of 10 machines just prepared a 158-kilometer section of the Beijing, Hong Kong, and Macau highway. They say it's the first project like this in the whole world. The fleet included one paver, six small rollers, and the three big rollers all working in sync and finishing much faster than usual. For sure, some human oversight is still needed for now, but the goal is to make it fully automated soon. Saudi Arabia plans to build a massive $100 billion AI center to compare with the United Arab Emirates in tech, called Project Transcendence. It aims to attract top talents and support startups to develop tech and reduce dependency on oil. They are partnering with Google, which is also investing billions of dollars. Together, they wanted to build advanced AI that understand Arabic. This is sort of a big move to lead an AI for the region. That's it for today. See you next week.